so it's going to be Mardakan to serve with Rami Mola Hajildul. Putting in the serve, nicely picked up as well, and the pipe attack comes in. That's immediately repelled. Great pick up there from Grabenikov. A tremendous rally to open this match. And then getting a touch on the way through from Karkane. Well, they're saying on the uh, Italian side, well, did it take a touch? Well, clearly it did. Big blocks up there, and no question at all. Davide Candelaro would have said to his teammates, yeah, that one's got a touch on the way through. Oh, and an ace serve drops in with a very fortuitous net serve. Well, that's what you want. Changing direction as well. Poor old Candelaro wouldn't have expected that at all. That yeah, doesn't reflect on him. Grabenikov handles. And then an easy put away. And Trentino opened their account. Oh, great pickup. That's always the key. And a little bit of touch there from Aaron Russell. He'll now serve that aggressive jump serve. Really picked up nicely by Karkane, who will look to try and put it away and can't. Russell's there back court. Oh, that takes a nice touch on the way through as well. It's a very solid start, this from uh, Katamadakan. And just sneaking through there, Rami Kani Molahajilu. Big deflection on the way through as well. So, center bar will serve, and, and a carry is called against Grabenikov. Well, Ardekan opening up a very good lead here. A lot of time to look at that as well, and yeah, they'll call that every time. So, center bar will continue. Grabenikov made a bit of a meal of that one. Doesn't give Candarello much to work with at all, but he's worked enough. Petis Kovacevic is too powerful for the three man block. And it's Candelaro. Back to serve. But the block was in place. And, uh, that took the antenna first. If it touches the antenna, it's a dead ball immediately. And there it goes. Tried to just thread the needle there, Karkane. There just wasn't enough space for him. It's collected. And they're starting to uh, wobble a bit here now, Ardekan, after that promising start. A lot of movement there on that ball, and that was the cause of the problem. The over pass put away by Lisinac. More problems. Well, back to back serves. And of course, some mayhem and coming in from way back. Luca Vittori saying, Have some of that. Goes cross court. Again, you see a service reception going off at an angle like that you know that's trouble and trouble arrived in the shape of Vittori with the cross court put away uh, Reza Mohammed has decided I'm gonna call a timeout right here because 5-1 up has become a 5-4 deficit <laughs> Four points in a row against his side. He's timed that time out per perfectly. Candelaro then will continue. Another really good serve that's caused problems, and the block finishes the job off Simone Giannelli. And a 
again, that's not what you want to be seeing from service reception. It allows the block to get established. Ginelli and Lissinac there together. No way through. Again, another service reception going off to the side. This time they do manage to conjure something up off the block. So a side out at last, Katamadakan. Had to do a bit of work there, Ali Tabari. But well, the youngster. Too good for Kovacevic. That one's pushed too deep. By the man who won the earlier point on the outside. Ali Tabari, side out. Trentino. With Simone Giannelli. issues for the Iranians now there's a lot going wrong here and Adol Galami is just uh, number nine there is just asking the second referee for clarification there so Gianelli then will continue that's another serve Reception that goes off at a strange angle and that's picked up backcourt by Russell and they can set this up far side and do No nonsense from Streko Lisinac Big power play there From the Serb Beautifully set up with Gianelli yeah, Too good for the two-man block Well Trentino have found their rhythm now that's for sure that one Gianelli and uh, that allowed Adel Galami to put away off the quick set well, it was a strong burst of serving but he tried a little bit of trickery and on this occasion Karkane was able to handle service reception and Fadi was able to set up Golami the pipe attack too good Russell driving that one in Kovacevic then. Another one of the uh, Olympians on the Trentino squad. Played in London in 2012. The block. Oh, and a bit of a mess there from Galami. They've just managed to recycle it over, but the initiative passes. And the point disappears for Ardakan. Any mistakes are going to get punished at this level. Well, that was the mistake right there. Galami and uh, Nazari rather getting in each other's way that was too good then from Ramin Cody Mola Hajilu and they get a much needed side out See what uh, Adel Galami, one of the more experienced players, can come up with. Grabenikov handles that. Big, big spike attempt from Vittori. It came straight back. Vittori will have another go and finishes the job with the cross court. Well, they managed to pick him up. Crop back court first time around. Really nicely done there by Galami. But a second bite. Vittori wasn't going to make him have an opportunity of taking anything back there so Trentino staying in a comfort zone here as Lissinac puts in a serve another service reception that's here there and everywhere and they pay for it again Vittori blocking the other number seven Mola Hajilu well if you're taking second touch where well, Ali Tabari was taking that second touch it's asking an awful lot to try and win the point and sure enough Another point that disappears, and Katamada can have to take another timeout here.
start from 4-1 up, it hasn't been very good. It's been 12-3 against Katamarikan since. But Trentino really starting to roll here. Sreko Lisinac will continue with serve. There's for the high ball toss. That's a much better service reception. Pushed a little bit, couldn't get a, a attack on it. a block in place there not sure if the block he was even the block was even needed as Malahil Jilu may have just netted himself and indeed he did but faced with that three-man wall in front of him so listen Ash will continue much better service reception a quick take Mohamed Senabar that's what you want and it's not something that uh, Ardekan have been able to do enough. Get the quick set to the big fella. Let Mohamed Senabar do the rest. That one sailed long. Uh, when you're trading by this kind of margin, you can't afford to push any of your serves long. Can't give away anything too easy. Luca Vittori. Serving the Libero Nazari. That's Grobenikov back over with first touch so they can mount another attack here and another really strong block. And it was Simone Gianelli right in the thick of it once again. Well, they thought they'd set it up nicely, but uh, Ali Tabari was faced with another three man wall. Davide Candelaro might have got the decisive touch. Oh, yes, a serve. Well, it's all going horribly wrong, isn't it? Vittori, that dip and swerve he's got on that. And then plenty of variety on the next serve. Uh, there's a violation of the net there against Candelaro. Right over. Russell picks up service reception, looks to try and finish it off. Can't do it. But there's no real play on that for Radikan. Oh, and uh, Russell with an easy opportunity on paper, or looked like it anyway. Won't be very pleased with himself there. Oh, Robert was repelled. Really good pick up there from Gianelli on the floor. Now Vardy sets up the big fella, and that's good enough. When they can get Mohamed Senabar and his size involved off the quick set. That's more or less impossible to defend. The block just couldn't get there. They've got to feed the big man. He's never going to have any chance in this match. Nice serve picked up by Kovacevic. Gia, or rather, uh, Vittori trying to get through. And this time, it comes back the other way. Well, he's had his way with him. But not on that occasion. Some Karkane saying, well, don't bring it here, because I'm going to send it back. Well, there's a couple of points are given an indication of Katan Arkadakan's potential. If they can keep it going consistently. Vittori, good enough. Brings up the American you know, Russell back up again. Uh, another set of contact point that is not ideal, far from it. Grabenikov rescues the situation. A touch not successful. Uh, Vittori's touch was successful. 
Center bar was there. They just couldn't keep it in play. Nice little reverse set from Giannelli. And although center bar hustled over there, just wouldn't drop for him. Russell then continues. Picked up by Karkane. And a bit of football there from Grabenikov, but it doesn't work. Once again, center bar's power too hot to handle. Great improvisation from Grabenikov, and it is legal. All he could do was get a boot on that. But he couldn't set up a teammate, and center bar will say, well, I'll have another one. Thank you very much. Here he is serving. Got a shot at this. But the block was good. Uh, where's Galami going to send that? He sends it far side, and that's put away by Tabari, the youngster. Well, they had lots of attackers lined up. Trentino was stretched defensively. Uh, Galami decided, let's send it back side. And Tabari said, well, I'll put that away. Center bar with serve again. Grabenikov with service reception and too strong cross court. Kovacevic. Side out Trentino then. There's Candelaro with serve. That's put away with authority by Gassem Karkane. Uh, Katam Ardekan have got a lot of chasing to do here. They need points on serve. Let's see if Ali Tabari can come up with anything for them here. Very aggressive. Uh, too good. Off the quick set. Not much defending this service reception. Really good from Russell. Let's look where he put Gianelli. Uh, Listen, Edge. All he had to do was make clean contact. Next serve from uh, Simona Gianelli. Today. Serving Vittori. There's a block on there. Vittori will rescue that back court, though. So that's just a push and regroup there from Russell. And a great reflex punch there from the American. Second touch is a clever one. Mohamed Vardy getting the job finished. Well, if you can catch the other team off guard, not expecting second touch, that's what you want. That's what Vardy found there. So Karkane then. Does Arnica continue this comeback? Is it too late? They need four points to draw level. Trentino need four points for the first set. Karkane with serve. The pipe attack is ruthless from Aaron Russell. Judge taking evasive action there. No challenge. Kovacevic. Well, the block was in place but couldn't keep it in. So side out. Katamadakan. Nice reverse set from Vardy. And Tabari winning that dual, dual far side. Galami serve. Well, that is really clever. They weren't expecting the attack for, to come from there. The set pushed way back for where Vittori was lurking. Gianelli knew exactly where he was, and even though they had defenders back court, Vittori with too much heat.
when you're that far in front. Sreko Lisinac obviously decided it's worth a gamble. And it didn't miss by much, but this it did. First side out, Vardy with serve. And then once again, as he's done so often, Luca Vittori driving through with authority, just swinging right through this one. You knew before he made contact that well, this was going to go for Trentino. They are now at set point. Yeah, they were all over the place on service reception, and uh, Malaha Jilu was put in a bad position. Uh, despite rallying in the middle of that first set, that's Amada Cam been blown away. Trentino volley. Four-time winners of this competition taking the first taking the first set Salt, the American, to get this second set underway. With the high swinging serve. Also, that was Karkane trying to find something and then driving it too deep. Kovacevic. Well, they had a couple of range finders at the start of the first set, Trentino for settling down and finding out exactly where they were. Angelo Lorenzetti there will be hoping that they get uh, back dialed in as quickly as possible. Candelaro certainly got dialed in there, didn't he? Off the quick set. Not an awful lot the defenders could do about this. Galani got himself up there, but one-on-one. -on -one. With a ball taken as high as that, it's almost impossible to defend. Candelaro then goes long on his serve, side out. Tabari with serve, it's a good one as well, only just picked up there by Russell, no real play there for Kovacevic, and it's put away. Well, Trentino got what they deserved there. Off service reception. It was just a question of where was he going to put it. And Marty said, Gassim Karkane, that one's for you. So Tabari then will continue with serve in the early lead, just as they had in the first. It belongs to Katam Ardakan. He did serve. We'll hand the initiative back over to Trentino Volley. And it's Simone Gianelli. Gabriele Nelly leading the cheers there. What a player to be able to bring off the bench if needed. But at the moment, Angelo Lorenzetti is not shuffling his deck. Ravenikov has just about handled that. Is there a play there? Not really for Kovacevic. So they'll send it near side, but the block was there. Well, they rather telegraph their intentions there and allow Trentino to get established defensively. Just look at the try, the traffic that Ali Tabari had to try and negotiate his way through there. And no way through. Gianelli then with serve, level early here in set two. Nasty serve to deal with, but it has been handled and then takes a touch on the way through. So 
that'll be side out. No question it took a touch off uh, Luca Vittori on its way through there. That was called on the floor. A little pushed serve there, but uh, we'll get a second bite at this. And we'll get the win as well. Oh, the serve from Karkine was sent over with the idea of deception. And it helped to grab the initiative. So Karkine will continue. Grabenikov handles that and it's an immediate put away. Well, rising high there was big Strako Lisinac. The quick set. If you're taking that ball before it even starts its downward trajectory, there's every chance you're going to win the point. Kovacevic with serve. The block is there. But they'll have another go. And the second go is successful. Ramin Kani Molahajilu. Eventually getting through. Uh, Grapenikov doing everything he could, but that would have been a miracle if he'd been able to pull that in. And Grapenikov this time handling service reception. Russell tries to go cross court. Galami was there in the little duel at the net. Gives the Iranians another bite at this, and then they net themselves. Well, he was at full stretch and reaching there, Tabari. This nowhere near as easy as it looked. Is that a smile from Angelo Lorenzetti? Not quite. Lisinac. Handled by Mahalan Ju. And then rather pushed. That's a missed opportunity. The angle's tight. Listen, Edge. Oh, and, uh, an overpass to uh, start off with. That's always trouble. It's usually a lost point. And sure enough, it's a lost point on this occasion as well. Vittori driving it straight at the Libero. You can't do much about that. I had Nazali Afshar. Frustrated there. Lissinac will look for more havoc with his serve. Uh, rather better handle by Karkane this time. But Russell getting the decisive touch. In fact, it's not better handled at all. It was coming back over, wasn't it? Back-to-back uh, -back service reception errors. And Reza Mohammed says, let's call a halt. Well, there's a familiar pattern unfolding here, isn't there? Kata Markadam starting off fast, showing a bit of promise. And then Trentino Volley. Rather going through the gears. Listen, actually, we'll look to keep cranking those gears here as he comes up with a beauty. Creating havoc in the Ardagan backcourt, and this is the last thing you want off a timeout. So, Listen, Etch will stay with it, varies it, and that caused Senabar all sorts of problems. This is just a recycle and hope job, really. All kinds of attacking options here for Trentino. And it was put away on the far side by Vittori.
Every possible option open to the setter here, and he decides, well, Vittori's having a day. Let's see if he can have another one. This match then will stay with him. Nevertheless, that was a pretty good shift from Streko Lisinac. Picked up a couple more points, more breathing space for the Italians. Service reception's not the best, but the finish was pretty good from Aaron Russell. His service reception wasn't great, but his third touch was absolutely terrific. There he is, getting himself in position. Too good for the block. They're struggling with their block here. The Iranians, Tabari. Comfortably beaten there, that's uh, sent a bit too deep from Luca Vittori. Well, Lorenzetti's side in a comfort zone here. Ravi Kani Haji Lu with serve. Uh, Vittori just can't seem to miss at the moment. One of the two Olympic silver medalists from Rio just oozing authority and class just can't seem to miss at the moment there's Russell the Olympic bronze medalist what a, an array of weapons Trentino have at their disposal Russell then nets Center bar then. Grupenikov makes a complete mess of that. So, and the center bar will say, Well, I'll take the ace serve. Well, if you can get serve points off your big middle blockers, that's a real bonus. Grupenikov does rather better second time, and there's the result. Uros Kovacevic says, Well, I'll have that. Thank you very much. Side out, Trentino, Candelaro back with serve. Not well handled at all by Karkane. They'll just have to recycle it, Karkane with the third touch. Options for Gianelli, and he'll take it back side where Vittori will finish the job. Benikoff enjoyed that. Trentino Libero will stay on the bench as Candelaro continues with serve. It's another really good one. And the block was there. Kovacevic just dominating young Ali Tabari. And again, it's the quality of the serve. That service reception was not perfect. It allowed the block time to establish. And Ali Tabari really just had nowhere to go. Trentino opening up a very healthy gap here in this second set. Well, there's hope here for Katamadakan that there's contact, and indeed that has been called as well. Not sure that. Uh, Trentino are entirely happy with this call. But uh, they're asking for another look here. Angelo Lorenzetti said, well, I want this looked at. But there is contact with the net, and that the net moves is not in discussion or dispute. But is it caused by a Trentino player, or is it caused by the ball? That's the conversation that's uh, going on at the moment. It's been accepted by Lorenzetti. Explained and accepted. Barman Jahan Dide, the captain, will come in.
So as the specialist server, let's see what he can do. Well, that's not what they brought him in for. Nothing worse for a player to be brought in for his serve. Only to net. Simone Gianelli then. He will come up next. Yeah, he'll just push it. Well, they certainly want to look at that, and it is going to be challenged. Well, again, Angelo Lorenzetti saw all his players say, challenge that, and any time that happens, he has to look at it. Any part of the circumference of the ball touches any part of the line, it's good. And that is going to get overturned. Well, the players saw it, they knew. So Trentino with that overturn, keep their healthy lead. Gianelli gets an ace serve to his name. There's some work to be done there, a lot of work needed doing. Gusem Karkane was always falling backwards on this one. But it takes a touch on the way through. And they're not challenging it. Well, now it's been... Uh, now it has been called. Well, Giannelli thought it was his serve, and quite rightly it's not. It goes over to Karkane of that block touch Vittori using finesse rather than power and that works as well it's not always about just swinging through it he couldn't swing through that anyway just a little dink good enough Kovacevic nets side out Captain Amadeco Galami. Rabenikov handles that one falling away, and then Vittori goes for a bit of touch again, and they're saying it went on the floor, and they're right. Well, once again, Vittori showing his variety. Rabenikov keeping that in play. Again, a little dink. And that clearly contacting the floor. Trentino staying comfortable. Lisinac with serve. The big fella gets blocked out of it. Well, that was Mohamed Senabar doing what he does best. And that was Davide Candelaro doing what he does best. And on this occasion, the Trentino man comes up with the win. Fatamana can say timeout. Well, it's very, very hard to pull six points back at this level, especially this deep in the set. But that's the uh, challenge facing Katem Ardkan here. The first challenge is to get the ball off Strako Lisinac. He zings in another one. There's an overpass. Well, there's the punishment. Candelaro finishes the job. If that ball comes over on first touch, you're asking for trouble. Davide Candelaro brought a ton of it. Listen, Ash will continue them with serve as Trentino trot.
to the finish line and there's an ace serve as well from Lissinac they're going to get that challenged all the Articam players looked over and said you've got to call this one coach this is going to be close any part of the circumference of the ball touches any part of the line it's in that's a close call certainly closer than the previous one That's good enough. So the challenge fails. Any slender chance they had of getting back into this set, you would think, has gone now. This match then stays with it. They just want to get him out of the rotation if they possibly can. The block is in play. Yeah, where's this going to go? Nothing doing at all. No play for Katam Ardekam. Four touches. And still they couldn't get it over. And still they can't get served away from Strako Lisinac. Takes a net touch on the way through. Was sneaky, really sneaky from Barman there. The skipper using all his experience, just saying, You think what's coming is the big one. And I'm just going to touch that. Well, that wasn't a great first touch. Can we recycle anything out of it? Russell is picked up back court. Rabenikov picks up backcourt. Russell finishes the job. Is Vittori then? Oh, the block too good once again. Giannelli in a one on one duel. He sends Trentino to set point again. He read this all the way. Had to take this himself. A barman who fooled him once, but fooled him twice. Vittori then at set point. That's kept alive. By Vittori, That's the center bar attempted kill. And they're at full stretch here. Can't make a play there. This has got to be good. It's not. Grabenikov picks it up. Second touch doesn't work. Grabenikov will a chance to recycle. Giannelli, the pipe attack comes through, and center bar says no way. Well, a really good rally that. Keep an eye on center bar. They thought they'd set it up nicely. Here comes the attack, and Kovacevic denied. But it's just delaying the inevitable. It remains set point, and a bunch of them too. And that'll do it. Well, they won the first set pretty handily, 25-19. And they just sprinted. No change in personnel still for Trentino Volley. The changes at a minimum for Katamarikan, although Akbar Valai has now come in, the opposite hitter who's got world championship experience for Iran. As indeed has Mohamed Vardy, who was playing in Bulgaria and Italy back in September on an Iranian squad. That qualified for the second round. Well, had a couple of very, very good performances as well. He'll open up this third set. When the referee and the Iranian players are happy with their rotation.
Vardy then to serve and start this third set. That's Russell picking up service reception. Well, that is job finished out of the backcourt by Candelaro. He's just waiting and saying, where is it? Where's Vardy? He'll drive it at his feet. Side out. Russell then. Another Olympic bronze medal winning squad from Rio with serve. Block too good once again. Candelaro taking up Barman. Oh, Barman really was able to drive through that, but the block was well placed. To get a winner there, he'd have had to take a risky angle. Oh, Trentino up and running early here. Russell will continue with serve until he nets. Side out, cut down Ardican. Now, Karkane will go back to serve. Service reception is not good at all, and they fluke one there. And Genia Grabenikov is the uh, happiest man of the lot, Gianelli. Well, it's not a fluke, is it? It's a very clever touch, but they're not sure they deserve the point after service reception. But Gianelli has just magic something up there. Candelaro. Nothing but nylon on there for Davide Candelaro. He nets. Now oh, Mohamed Senabar, the ace server. With two to his name, doesn't get one there. Kovacevic and the service reception, and then they get the point as well. First touch is good. Third touch, even better. Gianelli is just pulling the strings here. The center for the Italians. Here he is serving. Oh, that's Velai getting the win off the block. Got to keep this close early here. It wasn't the greatest service reception for Mekbar Velai, but uh, a bit like. Kovacevic on the previous point, the first touch may not have been great, but the third touch was decisive. There is a challenge on whether this is in or out, it's been requested by Trentino, and uh, look at that. It's a good call. That looked ambitious, and so it proved to be. That's a wasted one from Trentino. So Barman then will serve. Kropenikov handles that. Uh, manages to... Uh, he doesn't manage to keep it alive. Is the point already dead? Well, they saw the pipe attack coming. And Russell... With the net court with the uh, center line violation trying to keep one foot back couldn't do it that took a touch on the way through from Kovacevic and a big touch as well Nice cross court. Really well taken shot that. Uh, nowhere, nobody near it for Trentino. Uh, Barman dealing with the block very effectively there. And a nice ace serve coming in as well. Well, very. Just dropping and floating one in there. And, uh, Kovacevic couldn't reach it. Oh, a couple of the new players making an impact here for the Iranians. Vittori is denied. That was Barman defensively. 
Uh, that has dropped out, and this is a really impressive little response from Katar Mardikan. Karkane with a lot of work to do. Took a little bit off the swing. Uh, Lisinac got a hand to it, but couldn't keep it in play. Uh, much more of this, and uh, unfortunately for Arakan, it ends there. The Belai serve has uh, really given them a bit of a boost. If another point had gone against Trentino there, you'd have seen Angelo Lorenzetti call a timeout. Lisinac, whose serving has been pretty good. Karkane handles that one pretty well. Looks to finish the job as well. It can't quite can't get it. Yes, he can. It does get there in the end, despite the Italians trying to keep it alive. Well, Karkane, with the initial spike, looked a really good one. And at one point, though, it looked like Trentino were going to try and somehow keep it alive. Listen, I had no idea what was going on. That is clearly contact with the floor. Russell could miss. Oh, the net serve. Vettori. So, Captain Bardakan. Keep their noses in front here with Mohamed Vardy up next. Tory can't find a winner. That's been kept alive somehow, and it'll send it over to Russell, who does to finish the job with the cross court, despite the best efforts of Farhad. The Libero always seems to have a smile on his face. He was even smiling after this one. He's the only player there who could get anywhere near it as Russell decided this cross court's a winner all the way. And he was right. Russell with serve. Nicely picked up and then good defensive work again from Trentino and then solid defensive work from the Iranians. Frustration there. In the face of Kovacevic. Big Mohamed Senabar making his impact felt. The float serve. Doesn't fool anybody. The Tory saying, well, that's good for me. Candelaro almost fluked one. Velai has to do well here. Russell has rather sent that into the cheap seats. So, Katar Mahadikan keep their lead here. Really good reflexes from Velai there. He didn't have much of a play. And Russell will be disappointed with that one. And a bit of high hurdling. But nothing doing. For Trentino. And Senabar with serve. And that's really good defensive work again for Mahadikan, but they're not going to stop that. Oh, Kovacevic gets the point, despite Kata Mardikan disgruntlement with the call. Oh, the conversation is going on. Yeah, Rahman and uh, Gulami saying, well, that didn't do anything to me. Net touches the, uh, the call. So, what do the Iranians think? Uh, that one's not going to be overturned. 
Gianelli then with Trentino Volley looking to level. Malayai doesn't get the decisive touch. It was set up nicely for him as well. That's a missed opportunity for Katamada Cam, and he knows it. Gianelli continues. Well, that's come back. Great defensive work on both sides of the net. Villai denied again. That may well have been Lissinac. We have Kovacevic next to him. Well, that was a Serbian one two punch there. It is indeed Lisinac that gets the touch. No way through the double Serbian block there. Rakbar Velai. And that's Reza Mohamed saying it's timeout time because this one has turned around as you can see. Well, they've had a slender lead throughout this third set. Katamada Cam, but that slipped away. Now they've got to keep close. That was absolutely brilliant from Simone Gianelli. Had no business winning that point. But here we are. Service receptions all over the place once again. Aaron Russell will say, well, you need to give me an ace for that. It won't count in the stats, but it might as well have been. Spinning and swirling away there from Farhad. And this set, and indeed this match, now starting to get away. Gianelli. Block, not able to keep it in. So Obama winning that duel there with Lisinac. Charlie sent him very, very wide. And that proved to be effective. So can Barman come up with something on serve just to level it up again? Russell handles service reception pretty well. And then the job just about finished by Kovacevic. With that ball spinning off the block and dropping it at no man's land. This is a frustrating one. Look The ball playing pinball. Off the arms of Adel Galami there. And then just dropping to safety from the Italian perspective. Kovacevic will continue with serve. The backcourt attack doesn't work from uh, Carcone. Valier. Wins that duel because there was a violation at the net. Velay then with serve. Vittori with the dink. Rescued by Vardy, but Vittori at the second attempt. Tino maintain a slender lead. Nice angle taken by Luca Vittori. All we have to do is slip it past Karkane. Lissinac. Very aggressive go for it type of server, isn't he? Vardy sets up Karkane. And Katam uh, Ardekan sticking around here. It's the most competitive they've been. Now, can Galami come up with a point on serve to level it up again? Grabenikov handles that back court. He hasn't missed many tonight, Luca Vittori. His personal stats are going to be very, very good from the end of this match. There's another one. 
And Smyrna Gianelli continues to put his outside hitters in very good places. Tory with serve. That one's uh, set of bars. Sure, what the Trentino volley players are making a fuss about. They're having a real conversation with the uh, referee. It will take about five touches to get that one over. Vardy. The normal service was you, Candelaro. Rising high off the quick set. Serves Velai. Not much of a play there at all available for Barman. There's a bunch of blockers were able to get in place here, and Barman was always going to be second favourite here. This might be the moment the match gets away. Just look at the uh, height, the penetration. Candelaro, Kovacevic, absolutely nowhere for Barman to thread a way through there. That's a big gap that just suddenly opened up. No wonder he's called a timeout. This might be the last one of the match for him. We'll continue after the timeout with Trentino leading by three points here in this third set and make that two points as Mohamed Senabar rises high off the quick set. Side out, Katam Ardakan. Well, they need to find a couple of points on serve. Can they come up with something here? No, he can't. He nets. Candelaro. Not particularly well handled by Velayi, and again, they're really struggling, but they've uh, conjured something up there. A little bit of creativity far side from Barman. Yeah, he didn't have a lot to do there. Certainly, if he tried to power it through, that would have come back, so he just took everything off it. And the ball had no momentum coming back off the block. Senabar with too much momentum on that serve. Side out. Gianelli, Trentino closing in. Well, wrapping this up in three. And it's the Trentino setter and captain serving. Valier handles that one. He'll get the third touch as well. Rabenikov, brilliant far side. Well. The big assist there goes to Genia Grebenikov for an absolutely brilliant rescue. And for all the world, that looked like a dead ball. But how he's kept that in play, goodness only knows. Uh, finished off by Juris Kovacevic. That's what will show up in the stats. But that was all about the rescue from Genia Grebenikov on his day. The best libero in the business. There's an ace serve from Gianelli, who's obviously decided... We've been on court long enough. Let's wrap this thing up. Get out of here. Prepare for game number two. Ooh, a real nasty swirling serve that just died over the net there. Ginelli 
Conjures up back-to-back -back aces. Was Karkane couldn't handle the flight of the ball. Who could? That was wicked. Giannelli was able to do there. Well, we're seeing uh, Ramin Kani Malahajilu come back in. Karkane will check out. He's probably done for the day. With Trentino needing two points to wrap this one up. And what's Giannelli going to come up with this time? Plenty of variety. Well, that's missed the cross court from Barman. They want that looked at. You might as well. When you go to match point down, if you think you're going to get anything, challenge. And it's going to be a good challenge. That was the little finger of Sreko Lisinac that wobbled there. And everybody knows it. The Trentino players are all lining up in service reception formation because Lisinac will have said to them, yeah, that's on me. Players know they can't fool replay. There it goes. Well, that was a good call. And it's still Katamadika needing something very magical here. 23 18 down. Vardy off for Aini. Defensive middle blocker. They didn't bother challenging the middle. Luca Vittori sent it deep. Nobody home for Ardican. And that is match point. Vardy will come back in. And Uros Kovacevic will look to wrap this one up. He won't with that. And Velayi will look to keep Katamarakan alive. He needs five points in a row. Got a chance at one here as Kovacevic makes a bit of a meal of that one. Now, what can Russell do? No play, just has to push it over. Oh, that's a terrible first touch. Will they get away with it? Well, still this match point rally goes on. And finally, it's brought to an end. Well, that was as comfortable as you like. Well, Trentino Volley might have come in here as wild cards. But the four time winners of this competition have certainly started out here as if they intend to claim a fifth crown in Poland. That was impressive. They were favourites on paper, and they never gave Katan Ardekan any kind of traction at all. 25 19, 25 15, 25 19. That was as smooth as you like from Trentino Volley. Well, Katam Ardekan will be hoping that the level of opposition isn't going to be as good as that for their remaining matches because when you lose your first one, it's a long, long, long way back. And Trentino Volley did it without going to their bench as well. Well, it's a roster loaded with talent. Players that have won domestically and internationally. There's a clutch of gold medalists in.